целей. Мы с помощью десанта захватываем стратегические объекты. Взятие аэродрома Антона в Киеву войдет в учебники военного искусства. Олег, командир легендарного прокатчика. Here is the draft, Mr. President. Well, um, the, the, the beginning is pretty much basic. We, we, we praise our soldiers, take a minute of silence, promise money to hearing mothers, uh, remind them of the sanctity of our mission, and ensure that despairing that freedom is coming. Um, but as, as for the main subject, we thought we could get there by saying that um, imposition of sanctions and provision of weaponry is nothing but a ruthless attempt to starve us to death, to destroy our country. The Empire of Lies, also known as the West, has left us no choice but to proclaim the following. If our demands are not met in 24 hours, Kyiv, New York, London, and Paris become immediate targets for our nuclear strike. Uh, so, uh, so what, what, what do you think? finished does everything look fine yes would you be happy to do my mortuary makeup oh sure uh, of course if I am still alive by that time, because... I just meant I wouldn't be surprised if you outlived me. I'll try not to. Thank you. Uh, Mr. President. No notes. Thank you. I, I actually wanted to uh, forgive me in, in, in advance, but I... Uh, there are some concerns among some members of the government. They consider aiming directly at the cities... Who are those members of the government? Oh, I, I, I don't know. I don't know exactly. I just got the... Think we shouldn't do that? No. No, no, that's that, that speak directly, please. No, I think you made the right decision. You think or you're sure, speak directly, please. I'm sure, I'm sure, of course, we, we, we have to do that. The very existence of our country is at stake. All right, let's do it then. Mr. President, we're ready to go live. Ten seconds, Mr. President. Five, four, three, two. I was supposed to talk to you about our sacred mission to fight fascism and free the oppressed nations. 
I was supposed to comfort you grieving mothers with some stimulus checks and you proud fathers with the 12 ounce pieces of bronze called the Medal of Honor. I was supposed to blame the West for the severity of our economic problems and I was also supposed to issue an ultimatum stating that if we don't get what we want in 24 hours, Kyiv, New York, London and Paris are going to be blown up by our nuclear forces. But that's not what I'm going to tell you. In fact, I want to ask you something. How could you let me do it? How could you so easily let me take away your freedom, rights, even lives? How could you forget decades of dictatorship and 12 million innocent victims? For over 20 years, I've been murdering my political opponents. Although not always successfully, I admit, and I've been building yachts and palaces with your money, and how could you not notice this? Or rather, you chose not to notice it in exchange for, for a full stomach and a large TV in a tiny apartment. What else were you waiting for? That even streams of blood and trucks of corpses didn't wake you up. Blood of your mothers, fathers, brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, what else were you waiting for that even poverty and hunger didn't make you act? Oh, oh, but we have no power. There's, there's nothing we can do. We're small people. Let's, let's not talk politics. We don't know it all. What is it that you don't know, small man? Does it truly require so much intelligence to understand one man should not stay in power for over 20 years? And what else does it take besides simple human dignity to understand that it is fucking wrong to kill for a piece of land? And don't you bullshit me, you had no power. For more than 20 years, I gave you so many chances to say no more. I hoped you'd say so. I prayed for that, but no one did you say no more. We want more, and I can't eat as much as I want to throw up when I think about your stupidity, your cowardice, and your indifference. I hoped that after a thousand years of Tsars and general secretaries, we'd suffered enough. But instead of demanding from me proper service to you, you, you began servicing me. No, you were worshiping me, literally. You were dropping on your knees and touching me, hugging me, kissing me, under batons of guards. It doesn't matter. No. I realized very soon this nation hasn't learned its lesson. But today, we are going to complete the lesson. I'm sure you don't think I was going to revoke all of the wonderful things we have planned for you. Oh, no. All of the rockets are going up into the sky. And you have 24 hours to save your peaceful little Boring lives and the fucked up world from this unhappy end.
You're a psycho. I am a hero. Oh, gosh. They will tear you apart. Or they won't. It's not that easy to admit that you were wrong. They won't push the buttons. It's an evidently illegal order. Hmm. Turns out the illegal orders have a price. But why like this? Like what? It's so cruel. Oh, come on. Why couldn't you just talk to us? About what? About democracy, freedom, I don't know, checks and balances. Why? It seems like you're very aware of those things, but look where you're sitting. And believe me, they know those words too. But knowing, it's not the same as feeling. Words are powerless, my young Padawan, until they become an experience. Our constitution actually has them all, did you know? Oh yeah, but we're, we're quite nice on paper. But just because decades ago our founding daddies wrote them on a thin slice of a tree doesn't mean today you get to knock off and chill. Come on, Dima. You know if it hadn't been me, it would have been someone else eventually. And it is not my fault that some people can only learn the hard way. Oh, God damn it! It's your country now! Do whatever you want! Can you tell me how many Ukrainians died in your educational war? <laughs> of course I can. I have all of the data. And I can also tell you that thanks to me, your dear Ukrainians got exactly what they wanted. Break up for good, warm European welcome. <laughs> I, I have to be their national hero too. Mr. President. Mr. President. Mr. President. Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. President, uh, I'm so sorry for disturbing you. The Chief of the General Staff and the Defense Minister are here for the meeting. Um, yes, uh, show them in and bring me my nuclear case. All right. Thank you.